Jackie, you want to start? Yeah, you go first. It's, it's been weird having to to not really do school because that makes me forget to to do some things I'm supposed to do in the morning, like brush my teeth. But I do still brush them at night. <laughs> I do believe that virtual school must be the standard for the vast majority of Wake County students if we are to proceed in reopening safely. We've signed her up for the virtual academy already. We're very fortunate she had six months of normal kindergarten before all this, so she at least has that baseline understanding of normal school. So there hasn't been like a triage to the situation where you assess the most uh, needy people and allocate the right aid to it. During this time, we need to make sure that the most vulnerable students in our community are having their needs met. And we can do this by being a little creative during this time. Exemptions for, uh, for example, special education uh, children, special education students and uh, possibly even students experiencing homelessness. The absence of a plan of what they're gonna do if there is an outbreak at a school and staff is affected, everybody is gonna end up in a plan C when there aren't sufficient teachers to staff the schools. From the moment stuff shut down, every leader everywhere should have been talking to scientists, talking to teachers, talking to parents and figuring out how are we going to actually get schools open in the fall. Whether people have had to quarantine from their family members or whether we've, have, we've had to shift instruction online, these are very important uh, sacrifices and decisions that are being made and none of them will be ideal because none of them can be ideal. The situation is not ideal. I would love nothing more to pursue in-person instruction and be there in the classroom with my friends, with my teachers, with my fellow classmates. Nothing would make me happier. But when I look at what is happening right now, that the caseload in Wake County and North Carolina at large is surging, I realize that it isn't possible to reopen schools and be safe at the same time. More science is needed and then also, yeah, lots more money and people who are planning and not just kind of reacting.